We're in the process of making our drawing application interactive. And it turns out that one of the major elements in the GUI that we need to work on is the tree view. So you might remember there's this section over in the top left corner. And what it's supposed to do is show the scene graph for our drawing. And by the time that we have that implemented, hopefully it'll make more sense exactly what that is, but it has this type tree view. Now tree views in the AVI are, they wind up extending node in that big inheritance hierarchy that we've looked at before, but they have an element called a root and that is of a type tree item. So in order to get this to work the way that we want, there are a few things that we need to add. Uh, and they aren't necessarily in the drawing main. Some of them are going to need to go in drawing and draw bull. So inside of the drawing class, we're going to need to have a method that gives us back one of these tree items. So how about we call it make tree and it's going to give us back a tree item and I'm actually going to make these tree items of drawable. I'll import that. Okay, so how does this work? Well, we should probably look at our tree item and see what we can do with them. We can build a tree item that has the type T, which in this case is drawable, uh, and we can also set the children of that tree item. Now for, we are making our design so that the only thing that has children is our, the, the draw transform. And we should probably have in, in here children, I'm just going to say equals underscore children. And for now I'll put inside of here a private var underscore children is going to be a list of drawables that will start off empty. So what's going to happen inside of drawing is this needs to go down and hit all of the elements in the tree. And we're gonna do this with a recursive descent. So I'm gonna write just a little helper function inside of here. And this helper function will take a drawable that we'll call D, and it's going to return to us a tree item of drawable. And I need to match on D because there's really two types that we care about here. And once we're done with this, we will just call helper on the root well, we don't have a root yet, but we need to define one of those inside of our drawing. So our drawing will have, let's see, I'll probably make it so it doesn't change, at least for now. So we'll have a val root is a new draw transform. Okay, that seems to be happy enough. So what does this helper do? Well, it depends. If it is a draw transform, so I use the colon syntax there to say that this thing matches the type draw transform. That means that it has children in them and we should run through all the children and add those into a tree item that we build for, uh, for this element. So first let's go and let's make the item is a new tree item that we will pass and DT into. And then we need to run and add all the children to that. So we can do DT dot children dot for each. And I guess I can call the child C so I'm going to add into this item, item, that's not item, item dot children. Let's see if we can use a plus equals here of a recursive call 
Hansa helper of the child. And then when we're done, we give back the item. And what is this unhappy with? Um, found a tree item of drawable, required a tree item of draw transform. Up, oh, okay. Turns out that one's fairly easy to fix there, and that makes everything happy. Okay. And then if it's not a draw transform, then it's just the D, which is a drawable, in which case we're going to return a new tree item of D. Okay. So this allows us to make the tree. Uh, we can come back into, let's see, where are we in our code? Let's come into the thing where we made the tree here. So we have our drawing tree. And we want to set on this drawing tree, we want to set the root for it to be equal to the drawing dot make tree. Now this is unhappy right now because we had set up this to be a tree view of string. We actually want it to be a tree view of drawable. Um, okay. How can we demonstrate if this works or not? Uh, we can probably, if we came into this draw transform and we gave the ability to add children to it. So how about we do an add child, which is going to take a drawable here, and it's going to return unit, and all it's going to do is underscore children cons equals D. Let's see, right now that is going to append to the, or it's going to prepend to the beginning of the list. We'll decide if we're happy with that later. We might decide that we prefer to have the interaction append to the end, but we're not going to deal with that quite yet. And then what we could do is make it so that our first drawing actually has some stuff in it. So we have a drawing. Remember, the drawing automatically has a root inside of it, which is a transform. And so I could say first drawing dot root dot add child of a new draw rectangle and then draw text. We haven't actually put anything inside of those yet, but that should be just enough code that we have the possibility to run this and see the tree going. Okay. So we've made a tree. I don't know about you, but that's not really how I want to make this display. Uh, in fact, there are, there are all types of little issues here that would be nice to fix. I don't want these having such long names like this. I'd really like it if the tree were to actually expand out to the, the size so that I could see it all. Um, yeah, so okay, we will come back in another video and we'll work on trying to fix some of these problems and then make it so that this is interactive so that when we click on these things potentially properties show up here if our drawings had properties we also still need to make it so we even have a drawing we've got another few videos left before we can get this to be uh, fully functional